Okay, we're going to discuss um, a terminology of the Bible, which is the word east, and then specifically discuss what does it mean that Jesus will come from the east as it is mentioned in the Bible. Now, I would like you to take a look at uh, this. Uh, let's read this verse together. It's from Exodus uh, 14.21. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. This is when he was crossing the sea. Okay, when he was crossing the sea. And uh, so it says, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided. Okay, that's is Exodus 14.21. So, where is the east? This is Egypt. Okay, this is Egypt, sorry. Over here, this is Egypt. And there's a difference of opinion if this is the river that's being mentioned or this is being mentioned. Most of the commentators believe this is the river that's being mentioned. This is the Red Sea, okay? And this is where we've actually found, found uh, historically speaking, archaeological evidence of the uh, chariots of the Pharaoh and all of that. So, whether it is this or it is this, the east is referring to Arabia, okay? So, there was winds from Arabia that were coming and they divided the sea. Now, let us look at another example uh, over here uh, of the word east, okay? And this is in uh, Jose uh, 13, 15. Even though he thrives amongst his brothers, an east wind from the Lord will come blowing in from the desert. So this makes it very clear again, the east is where the desert is, which is Arabia. His spring will f fail, and his well dry up. His storehouse will be plundered of all its treasures. Now Job himself uh, was a prophet from the east, okay? meaning he was uh, from the desert, meaning he was an Arab. So Job chapter 1, 1, there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance was also 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 she-asses, meaning donkeys, and a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men in the east, meaning Arabia. Okay? So now, uh, after Job, let me just refer to a few other places where the word east is used. You destroyed the ships of Tarshish, shattered by an east wind. Now, Salm, you let loose the east wind. Okay, again. Therefore, in the east, give glory to the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord, Lord of Israel, in the lands of, in the islands of the sea. Isaiah. Who has stirred up one from the east, calling him to righteousness in his service? His hands, nations, oh, uh, he, he, he hands nations over to him, meaning God does, and subdues kings before him. He turns them to dust with his, with his sword, to, uh, and then uh, to wind-blown calf, with his bow. Now in Revelation, if you look at it, and I'm going to come back to Isaiah in a second, but over here I'm going to mention this. Isaiah, uh, Revelation chapter 7 verse 1, after this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four 
winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw an, another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. Okay, so something about east is special. Okay, he called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Meaning, uh, there, there will be no excuse left for them. The punishment of God, like the people of Noah or Sodom and Gomorrah and so on and so forth, comes once the seal of God has been put on, meaning they have no excuse, they know the truth, and they still choose to deny. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000, all from all the tribes of Israel. Ezekiel. Okay, this is also important. And I saw the glory of the Lord, uh, glory of the God of Israel coming from the east. Okay, the glory of the God coming from the east. His voice will was like a, the roar of a of rushing waters, and the land was radiant with his glory. So the eastern land was radiant with his glory. Finally, uh, let's look at what Jesus said about him coming back and what we learn. Jesus said, Matthew 24, 25 to 27, See, I have told you ahead of time. So if any of anyone tells you that there he is out in the wilderness, do not go out or here he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe him. For as the lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man. So here, okay, out in the wilderness here refers to wilderness of the uh, Israel. Here, when it says he comes from the east, is visible even from the west. Again, this east here is referring to Arabia as it has the word East been referring to Arabia throughout the whole of the Bible. So Jesus will not come to Israel as it is thought he will come to Jerusalem and the uh, area of Israel. In fact, he will come to the land of the Muslims and he will be of the Muslims according to the Bible himself. Jesus says he will be coming from the East. And so... East of these places is all over here is all Arabia. This is, uh, you remember Damascus, and this is Syria. This is the land of Canaan. So all of this is Arabia here. Something to think about for our Christian brothers.